Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome to your daily message or daily energies. Happy Friday, January 19th. Let's see, darlings, what we have for you and what we need to bring in as of today. I hope everyone had a great week and wishing you a great weekend. Let's see, what do we have for you, darlings? Where we go, what we are for as of today. What are those messages as well? Stick with me till the end with individual zodiac signs. We have underneath the devil. Hmm, Capricornian energy here. Three of Wands. Death, Rebirth. Three of Pentacles. Magician. And the Empress. Beautiful. And Ace of Wands. Good job. Nine of Swords. I feel here some of you... So I will say exactly what I am hearing because sometimes I try to, you know, switch a little bit the, the conversations. But what I'm seeing here for those who are watching today or who are coming in as of today, you are releasing um, karmic energy or you are releasing something that was very heavy. Speaking of heaviness, could be, you know, you are releasing a toxic partner, you are releasing a toxic environment, you are releasing a job that was not really good for you. Something here you are releasing and it seems here that that's not going to come again. For some of you, there is a, a period in your life, could be for, you could be in a situation for over three years and feel like nothing is moving. You are moving away from it. And I'm hearing here the next three years from now on, you definitely are going to grow and prosper. Look at here, the devil, death, and the magician. There's something here you manifested to let go or to move on from, and now you do. And it seems here, this energy, you will feel, or whatever energy you are going into, you will see it in a very short time with the Ace of Wands. As you know, Ace of Wands is a very short energy, meaning in the time frame. Could be, for some of you, a day, could be a week from the time you see. Let's see, the first card, the middle card, we have the world. Okay, definitely here. Uh, big chapter in your life it's closed open doors closing doors queen of cups it's a very feminine energy here but i feel here there is also a mixage with the queen of cups five of cups yeah you you're releasing a past situation here that really cause you heaviness but also i see the growth from the page to the queen so you you definitely grow a lot in all this time and look at this four of wands however we see an overall energy here because you are moving towards this four of wands here so we have three of wands ace of wands let's make the three of wands for some of you it's about you you barely could pay rent or lease or for house. You will be able to buy a house, which is very great. The Empress and the Three of Pentacles. There's something here definitely will start improving. Work or money. Let's see more. King of Pentacles. King of Swords. Definitely here. This is some something here about finances. The Sun. And King of Wands. The only king missing is King of Pe King of Cups. Look at here, Page Queen, but the King of Cups is missing. And King of Cups is the the provider. It's a father figure. Is the one who definitely put a lot of heart in whatever they do. 
But look at these two kings towards this queen. But also for the future position we have king of swords, king of wands, and in between we have four of wands. So something here you are starting to see much clearer. Whatever you do or how you do the things, it's much clearer, much better, and definitely in a much more fruitful way. Let me see here what means this five of cups, because for some of you, was a very hard time to let it go, whatever you are living. But it's a new beginning. It's a new beginning. Five of Cups speaking here, please. Star. I feel here for some of you, you also have been prayer. Been prayed a lot about letting go behind the past or leaving the past. There's something here that felt like it's not... You know, there's situations here that you are going and feel like one step forward, two step back. And it's kind of was an ongoing situation here. But now it's done and over. Yes, judgment. Because definitely here, your prayers being heard, loves. Look at here. For some of you, you have definitely a lot of nights praying. Look at these girls, like really praying for for the things to to improve, to come forward. One more card here. It's kind of the universe heard you. Two major arcanas clarify the five of cups. Definitely here it's something, yeah, high priestess. Absolutely. And this is very, very feminine energy. Now I feel here the balance comes in. Underneath we have six of swords. So definitely here moving away from whatever was. But you knew that staying where you are were not good. What's the devil here? What's about this devil here? Ten of wands. Okay, a very heavy situation. Char chariot. So definitely here something you need to leave behind. And once you leave that for good, when we're speaking about leaving behind things, this is uh, the release of emotional, physical. For some of you, even a physical move was needed to leave whatever that was. Because devil and chariot, it's Capricorn and Cancerian, very opposite energies here. So it's kind of uh, a situation here. You could not be just half in, either all in or all out. Because the energy here really speaks to you that very conflicted energy, two fives here, which five speaks about that change. Okay, once you move into this new energy, the world, where sends you the world? Because I feel here in a very short time you'll be super happy for whatever you leave behind. But it's kind of the process, the beginning, the process. It's a little harder. Let's see, the world here, Knight of Pentacles. That's how I'm saying here. It was a little harder, was a little slower, or, or the movement took a while to, to understand where you're going or how you are going temperance and the hardness was to find yourself to find yourself in a balanced way or balanced page of wands i also feel here somebody here could not have all the the answers yeah look at this nine of swords there was a lot in the the head moon a lot of fears, a lot of things here didn't make sense, but here they are, King of Cups. It's like somebody here, once they um, overcome this kind of like bugs or this kind of fears, now they, they stand up and see it through. Whatever the situation is here, because somebody here with the Seven of Swords felt quite a struggle into their movement.
but it's kind of when you are good to yourself when you are good with yourself things are different and yes we do have all the king's loves there's a very strong pull masculine pull to allow and do what you need to do what actions will be taken from now on for whoever I'm speaking here? What actions? Nine of Pentacles. The actions are improving confidence, improving yourself, self-improvement, self-care. Taking care is the most important. And for some of you, you are going to take care of your finances. Definitely, for some of you, it's kind of how I can improve in many other levels. Queen of Swords. Not including my emotions, not putting my emotions, but being very honest with myself. Eight of Swords. And not feel that I'm not worthy. Because somebody here felt like they were not worthy. Five of Wands, I'm not going to listen to others, what they're going to say, but I'm going to listen myself. Somebody here could listen to others certain things, because listening to others create more back and forth, back and forth, make more chaos than movement forward. Yeah, look at here, stagnation. So somebody here will start seeing the things much differently. And also, whatever here brings comfort, brings also stagnation. Hierophant. It's kind of, whoever I'm speaking today, you are going to start creating your true self, your true abundant self. And not only true abundant self, but it's more likely, I'm not going to stick with the old I'm not going to resist the things anymore that needs to be left behind. The only nine missing here is nine of wands. The resistance of what can be, what cannot be. And also nine of wands speaks about the resisting, you know, the movement forward. Because, you know, sometimes we're not moving forward because we... We don't feel like so, or we don't feel necessarily safe. And safety is, you know, for many different now. But also, the Hierophant, I learned a lesson, a very, very valuable lesson. Advice from Spirit to you, loves. Advice for you from Spirit. Don't hold back. Four of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. If certain things here did not improve till this moment, why do you care about letting them go? As also, there's something here about family. Family beliefs. Don't hold back on those. Just because your family grow in a certain way doesn't mean you need to grow that. I feel here this is also about family traditions or what I know and what I don't know. And this is also something here about finances. You know, I had one time, actually not only one time, a family member used to tell me, we are not from rich, we're not from wealthy. What do you think you will be wealthy? And my answer was, I'm not think, I know. Because whatever you believe into, that's what you manifest and bring. Why you feel you will be having people around you who will uh, enjoy whatever you do? I know, because I know my purpose. So if you do believe in something you create, you bring to the table don't let anyone to doubt you because many many times people will give you this pics ticks insights advices because they see that way not because you see that way 
just because someone here loves a type of art or a type of music doesn't need necessarily you need to love that just because the whole family loves that type of music and you love a whole different other you don't need to blend in you don't need to be like others if you don't like that okay and and that's okay look at here the strength and we have the devil this death definitely is a karmic energy here related to your could be family could be finances could be situations that you truly believed in and now you just feel like it's okay to think otherwise three of cups and many times is to get along with those who truly believe what you are believing not everyone will support you in what truly you want and believe not everyone and many who might even call you names are you crazy thinking of this why do you think is this correct for you and not for others so page of pentacles the power of a new beginning yes oh look at this ace of pentacles goodness ace of wands ace of pentacles are the 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 aces for this reading it's kind of sooner you are getting into or sooner are you let go the faster you can go so this could take one day one week till up to one year for whatever here the situation is and i feel here some of you might even create new connections even a new family or you are blending to a new family there's there's a new new energy that surrounds you but this energy is a light a vibrant a growth energy a happy energy so whatever here you are doing or going through or manifesting even because something here you definitely manifested work it through and it's kind of like that's brewing okay but let's see individual zodiac signs from aries to the Pisces. What do we got for you, darlings? Let's see. Aries, welcome. We have Chariot. And we have the Judgment. For some of you, there is uh, an appointment today or there is a, a meeting that you can't postpone any longer. There's something here needs to be made today or done today, not postponed. It's kind of like do it what you need to do on time so later to not regret that you didn't do it. So there's something here about do it today, don't postpone for tomorrow or don't procrastinate some kind of, you know, meeting or some kind of appointment or... If you delayed a couple times, Spirit says, don't delay it any longer. Because next time you might not have this appointment at all. Or some kind of move towards something. So whatever here you have, make sure you make it on time. Or you are going. Because sometimes we feel like, well, I, ha I still have time or I'm not going to go because it's Friday and there's traffic. You know, sometimes you might be quite surprised how many things you can accomplish even on a Friday. Taurus. We have Knight of Swords and Seven of Pentacles. Okay something here you feel like you know done or you feel you are done with and i'm not gonna wait any minute or i'm not gonna you know procrastinate any minute there's something here like you feel that cannot be you know waited on or done on 
for some of you there is someone here told you certain things and you you kind of gone with that but now you just feel like you know I'm not gonna do that there's something here like you know I will do it myself or I will go ahead and not waiting any longer for whatever somebody tells me wait a little bit or do this or do that there's some some kind of attitude you are taking as now because you feel like you know everything is kind of going slow and you don't want that anymore whatever slow down whatever energy is there Gemini's welcome darlings let's see what we have for you as of today ten of cups and nine of swords some of you you are thinking of a family situation here could be a family member that worries you for some of you it's someone you really care about what's the worry for you know whatever here you worried calm down spirit says you will overcome it if there is a healthy issue or something will be overcome we have a um, full moon in leo coming up next week so it's kind of give it a couple days and then you will see that things will get in a better way or in a much better way because i feel here someone here could be sick for let's say at least nine ten days but give it a little longer if needs rest keep let it rest because you know our cells are renewing in our sleep why they say the children needs to sleep because they that's how they grow because our cells grow and rejuvenate in our sleep sleep is essential try to not sleep for three days and then you'll see how you are you will feel quite miserable so somebody here needs to take more time for something cancerians welcome we have temperance and we have king of wands some of you might deal here with the fire sign or you could have very strongly fire but it seems here for especially for the cancerians who have a business or who have certain you know you know creative ideas I feel here certain things here are getting better and better or you are getting better and better if you create art or you do certain things out there you are getting better and I feel here also you if you've been worried lately for certain things if they are not gonna get better with the temperance rest assured you are getting better or the things will get better again we have king of wands which is leo energy full moon in leo will be for many of you very very good for some of you there is a contract you might sign in this full moon right before or right after however we have you know the daily energy and the daily energy speaks about could be today or in the you know the days that are coming in moving on to our leo welcome darlings we have page of pentacles and nine of wands okay leo there's something here you begin now but you don't want to even you you could start a job but you just feel like i don't feel like or I don't want it but I need to there's something here like I sometimes we do certain things because they need to be done not because they want to so you know is something that you need to do but it seems here whatever here is given to you now will come with more later so sometimes we feel like ah oh, no 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 thank you but it seems here whatever offer here looks small can turn quite big with the ten of pentacles no kidding so sometimes we feel like no 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 but you might look into it because sometimes little beautiful jewels can be found in unexpected situations or places that's kind of the thing here 
Now we have our Virgos. Welcome, loves. Let's see what we have for you. Six of Pentacles and a moon. If you've been uh, worried about your finances, if will uh, improve or not, I definitely see here with the Six of Pentacles, absolutely. If you think of the finances, if you think here of a partnership or of some kind, I will say look for the options. Yes. If somebody here tries to come back, don't feel like they they are here for for your own best interest. It's more likely for their own best interest. Somebody here wants to to get in a better um, better view or better situation with you but they don't know how to spirit says they will find or you are gonna find a solution so some something here definitely it's kind of things might not be perfect but can improve perfectly lee bra welcome darlings King of Pentacles and Six of Swords. There's something here, Seven of Wands and Nine of Pentacles. Okay, there's something here you are said at this moment. Either due to a relocation or some kind of decision. But, you know... Later on, or in the days that are coming, you'll find out that you made actually the best decision you could made in, let's say, in a couple of years. Okay? For some of you, you might leave a job, but you can become an entrepreneur, or you can become a self-employed, or a remote employed. There's something here like you, you don't want to, but Spirit says it will be to your own good and best so whatever here you feel sad about, don't. Don't. Look at this Empress. So there's something here you will have much more than you thought. You know, it's very, very important how we see the things. But Spirit says you have much great potential somewhere else than where you are. And deep down, you know and acknowledge that. Scorpios. How is your day, loves? We have Queen of Wands and the Death. Something here is changing or some kind of situation here in your life is changing. Absolutely. A situation here that has been pretty slow or in slow motion now is changing. For some of you, it's a situation here regards your finances. For others of you, there is a situation here in regards a person. Especially for some of you, if you felt kind of in a situation that is no way out. Queen of Swords. Now you'll start seeing much clearer and definitely here there is a situation that is changing big, big time. With the Ace of Wands, it's kind of whatever here could not be changed five years, could change in a day or in a week or even sooner. It's kind of, you know, sometimes we see overnight changes or overnight shifts. That's kind of a thing here. And whatever change is here, it's very, very good for your for yourself. Could be for your own environment. Sagittarians, welcome loves. Six of Pentacles for you and Nine of Pentacles. Okay. When I have Pentacles, I right away go to your finances, to your stability, to your job or your, you know, entrepreneurship or even self-employed. Because Nine of Pentacles is a self-employed person or someone who does very well financially. It seems here for some of you struggle financially for quite a while. I definitely see here a great improvement into that, okay? For some of you, as of today or as we move forward, you will see a very 
it's kind of in the beginning it's a slight improvement but later on it's much bigger doesn't feel here there's something here that comes to you out of nowhere it's coming for you from your own work from your own you know effort okay look at this eight of wands so eight of wands speaks about in a couple weeks could be up to eight weeks eight days eight weeks that's two months from now but yeah look at this four of wands definitely here there's some some kind of success coming in for you financially for some of you could be a job that you are gonna get could be very great paid and for some of you if you barely could met ends financially here rent you know food or clothing whatever here is it's definitely here improving so eight of wands four of wands that's 12 weeks that's next three months or in 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 the weeks that's coming in goodness that's something really really great for some of you there is certain uh, contract you are gonna sign and it seems here it's very, very fruitful. So go ahead, darlings. Be confident in your own craft. Because it seems here for some of you, really, really work hard to be in the place where you are, where you, where you want to be. Because this is something here that's coming in for you. Capricorns. Let's see, darling, for you. Happy birthday, darlings. I hope you have a good one. We have Queen of Wands and we have Nine of Cups. For some of you, there is a uh, fire energy is quite significant in your life. But I also see here, there's something here you wanted to do for quite a long time. You are going to do it. There's some kind of satisfaction regards, could be a craft, could be an um, energy that is given to you. For some of you could be if you wanted a trip to go somewhere or you want a situation to move forward with someone that is given to you with this cancerian energy okay so for some of you there's a situation here will improve in the matter of couple months or couple weeks or even days Aquarius, welcome loves. Let's see for you what's the day. Look at this Ten of Pentacles and Seven of Wands. There's something here, family related energy here. For some of you, it's finance energy. But it seems here there is a situation here that it's kind of I keep things under control and that's how it needs to be if we want to be in this situation or in a better situation. So whatever here you try to keep it in control or try to keep it in good standing, keep doing so. There's something here about only this way works. Only this way is, is going to get improved the situation or will get better in the situation. So whatever you do, again, keep doing loves because certain things here if you definitely want improvement you gotta have um, a good standing or a good plan to keep that improvement and of course Pisceans welcome what do we have for you as of today we have a tower bam and the four of cups Okay, somebody here might come to you or might contact you out of blue and quite surprise you, quite surprise you for whatever they want to say or how to say. Three of Swords, Seven of Swords, Three of Wands. We have Four of Cups. It's kind of you, you had a fallout with someone due to their lies or due to their, you know, behavior. And I don't feel you are around them. You moved on. But it's kind of like, it's surprising because somebody has that, you know, attitude to conduct you or 
tell you certain things or contact you and telling you certain things because for some of you you already moved on or you already have a family or you already start dating someone and they might even tell you oh i really wish to see you or i or they see something here online and they congratulate you for something because look at you you are in three of wands and ten of cups it's like i'm happy on my own doesn't necessarily you you are with someone but you are happy moving on with your life and this person feels like you know could be great to have you but it's kind of too little too late so basically someone here you have a fallout or you let go due to their lies they they try to scoop in into your life be aware of them or be aware what you do because Spirit says, if something here was bad or somebody here done something in the past and no good out of it, why you should look up? Okay. All right. All of you loves, thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. And I'll see you next time. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.